So, I'm going to teach you how to do this, this monkey, this texture painting, okay? So, the first thing you do is create an, a new Blender file, okay? Let's shift A, let me just wait a second. Put this over here, okay. So let's add a monkey with shift A. Okay. Now you add subdivisions. Okay. Let's put uh, maybe three, apply. Now you can shift smooth. Okay, so first we're going to, to create the metal part. You, cre you create a new material, okay. Let's, let's put this in material preview. You click Z and material preview. Now. The metal will be just a, a little bit grey. You add metallic and you decrease a roughness, okay? So this will be the result, result, okay? Now you see that is too reflective. You want to add some so some randomness, okay? So You could tweak this, okay. I can put this like this, like this. It's okay, yes. So, now I will create the, the rust, okay. In the same material, I click Shift A, okay. Now I click Noise, Noise Texture. Oh, by the way, you go to File, uh, Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and you have to to have the Node Node Wrangler activated. Okay, this will be too too useful. Okay, so you click. Shift, Control, and Left, and you can see the noise texture. Okay, you can see the contrast is is very low. So you have a new color ramp. Okay, you put it right here, and you increase the black part. Okay, now increase this. Increase the scale, increase the detail, increase the scale even more. That's okay, that's probably what it is. Now, add a principal shader here. Oops, click uh, Shift Control left here. Okay, let's add a different color. Let's put uh, orange, orange. Let's put some red, like here. Like this, yes. Okay. Now looks more like like rust. No. Oh, this is the metal. 
now we we uh, want <laughs> my english now we want um, a bump on this okay and we will use this color right need to 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 have it in black and white so i click shift a search and i write b w rgb to b w okay my link color to color now you add a bump and you add value to height and then the normal to normal okay so you can see this is too much and yes like this it's okay maybe it's too much but it's okay maybe increase the scale Now, we just want this texture in some parts of the monkey, okay? Not everywhere. Although it's good, okay? So, to mix these, these two, the metal and the, the rust, we have a mix shader, okay? Mix shader. And um, you know we link this to to this. After we will uh, add a, a mask, okay. The white parts will choose this one. So we should put this one. This is black. This is white. We will paint a, a black texture in white, and white parts will choose. This texture, okay. So now you choose texture paint. We click N two. You click here, base color. Choose a, a black one, okay. Shoe and right rust. And okay. Now it's here. Okay. Let's go link this. Now you link this to the factor. Okay. Now is everything black, but then the white parts will choose. This one. Okay. Now you go to solid to this display to change to change the size of the, the brush. You click F. Okay. You can or you, you can change change here. Okay. F. Let's put a little bit. Here. And by the way, let me shift control left so I can paint over here. Okay, so do something like, like this. Okay, this. You can really add a lot of things, okay? Let's so let's go to the loop dev mode. You click here. And now, just wait a second. Can you see? Now you have rust in some parts of the mesh. 
this is cool. You can also paint here. As you can see, the, the white parts will choose this one, and the black parts will choose this metal. And you can stay you can still change this this one. Okay. So you can have like a, a nice texture. Shift control left. Okay. Shift A color ramp. You change the black and white values and you click here. Now you change something to black. You change the detail more and scale. And I will link this color ramp okay to rudeness. Now shift control left on principle. Can you see? That's a, li a little bit more interesting. Let's, let's click Shift Control left here. So how do you have um, scratches? So, imagine that you want to have scratches in this metal part. Okay, how do you do it? I go to solid. Okay, make it is like this. You go to, you click Z and Material Preview, okay. You add a Musgrave, Shift A, Shift A, Shift A, Texture, and uh, where is it, Musgrave. Now Shift Control Left. So imagine that I had two Musgrave textures, change a, li a little bit one, and you just have like uh, white parts, okay? Let me just show you. You duplicate this one, you select it, Shift D, change to 4.09, okay? You add that. You add a mat node, okay, and you link these two. Now select this one, shift control left. So if you have add, it will add the two, okay. The white parts. Now, if you have a uh, subtract, I don't know, <laughs> but what will work is divide, okay? So, just let me just. Something a little bit more interesting like this, or maybe I can increase this one like maybe 13. And 13. 12.09. Nope, it's too much. One. Nine. 
nine eight and seven. Okay, it's okay. So as you see, this will work as a pimp map. Okay, just looks like a brain. Let's create a bump. Okay. I'll link this to a height, then normal to normal. Let's see this material. So it's too much. Let's put less strings. So Basically, this is not as we want, so we have to add a, a color ramp to make this more white. Okay. So let's color ramp. Let's shift control left, increase the white. Now, if I go to here, to the principal. Shift Control Left. And you can see this. Okay. This doesn't look like scratches, I know. Okay, because it's everywhere. Imagine that you want this just in some parts of the mesh, okay? So How do we do it? So let's go back to here. So you just want these black parts, this texture, in some parts of the mesh, okay? Like uh, in the. You can paint where do you want them, okay? Or you can change it procedurally, okay? So, we are going to, to, to do like we do here, okay? We use some texture as a factor that will choose where the, the, the scratches will be, okay? So, this, okay, something happened there. Well, the problem I didn't save the. <laughs> you need to save the the image, okay? That was the problem. Well, you can just paint again. It's just to show. So I click here. Now you go to here, and then. Image editor, you can see this sign off. Image, save, and, uh, desktop, yes. Rust. And you go to 3D viewport. So, scratches. You just need scratches. I will add a, a mouse, a mouse grave texture. Okay, let's see it. So imagine that we just add scratches on these, on these parts, on the white parts. Okay, so let's just put like that.
So this you already know that this will be the factor. Okay, so you will get the mix, but but this time is RGB. Okay, because this okay, these are colors and these are shaders. You have this green. Okay, green, green, green. Okay, so you will link this to the factor. Okay. This will be in the white parts, so in this one, the scratches will be in the white parts. This is black and white. Okay, so one is white, zero is black. Okay, and then so if this is in, is in the the white parts of the mix, you can put this just black. show you okay. this is the factor okay no no these is are the scratches this will like the, as the factor we just need scratches on white okay so you link this to the white this is what you have Maybe doing something wrong here. Just need more. I just have to change this, okay? Need more color. Let me put the color ramp here. Cool, but this is not <laughs> what I want, okay? What what we want is have these the scratches more more black okay I just notice what I what you want so these are the scratches are in the white parts of these of the Oh, this is Musgrave, okay? Mix it with white and then you end up with scratches only in the white parts, okay? So now, let me just check this one. Maybe I can increase the strains. No, just a little bit. Let me check it. It's okay. Maybe I can decrease a, li a little bit this difference. These two Musgraves after like zero five. Yes.
now you go to this mix shader, shift control and you just wait a second. Or two. Can you see? Can you see? And you can still paint it. Okay. You can just why this is always happening, man. This by the way, don't forget to save this texture, okay? Just wait a second. You do here and then you save it again. You go to here. You can even have one more. This will be more more difficult, okay? So you can even have like one more shader for this one, for example. Imagine that you want uh, emission and uh, the black parts. Okay. This black parts having emission. How do you do it? Okay. So to do it, hit Control left over here. Okay. Now you add a mix, a uh, mix uh, emission, blue. You add a mix shader because these are two shaders, okay? So you want this one in black parts. So you put over here black, white. This will be white parts, and this one. Shift Control Left will be the factor, okay? So you link this to factor. Yeah, link this. Now instead of linking this this principle, you will link this mix shader, okay? Something is happening. You have to add a color ramp over here. Color ramp. Let's check the color ramp. Shift control left on the color ramp. Let's increase the black. No, let's increase the white and the black. Like this. More white. Shift control left on mix shader. Now you link this instead of having the rest, you pick this one and you go to the down. Now shift control left on mix shader. Are already too much, uh, too much uh, notes. That's because this is laggy, okay? And you can even add more, okay? Imagine uh, above this hole, you can have another mix shader. 
to another mix shader to the material we output. Okay. That is it for now. So I hope you understand me because my English is too bad for now. <laughs> so yes, bye bye.